So I think there needs to be uh, someone commenting on this because it just doesn't seem to be, the information doesn't seem to be out there, right? So the idea of going vegan and instantly becoming healthier and not having any diseases is a myth. That's only when you take into account the fact that most new vegans don't eat a healthy diet. In fact, what they do is they try and substitute all of the foods they've been eating their whole life with vegan versions. Now, the vegan versions of these foods, like the you know highly refined and processed meat patties or cheeses, which don't taste great, by the way, and all these sorts of things, um, they don't actually do you any good. They're not good for you you know, in most cases, but people think just because it's labeled vegan, it's healthy. Now, you could, like, you can have someone who's a vegan, okay? They, they eat a vegan diet, they don't eat any meat or dairy, but all they eat is beer and noodles, or beer and chips, or beer and crisps. Now, that, they'll be vegan, technically, right? But that will not be a healthy diet. That'll be a very unhealthy diet. And in fact, that will probably be worse for you than a balanced diet, including meat and dairy because you're just getting those comp those uh, simple carbohydrates and sugars and fats. You're not getting any nutrition. So it needs to be said that if you're gonna go vegan for health benefits, just calling yourself a vegan isn't enough. You need to have a plant-based diet, meaning you have a wide range of nutrition from mainly plant-based sources, right? Vegetables, fruits, legumes, nuts and seeds. If 90% of your calories are coming from that type of food, then you're gonna be fine. You know, in 99 times out of 100, you're going to be absolutely fine. In fact, you're going to thrive. You're going to be more energetic, stronger, you're going to feel better. And you're going to have much, much less chance of getting any of the top diseases that kill people in the world today. For example, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's, etc. Right? 99 times out of 100, these things are preventable. And it's because of the diet. But obviously, if you asked a doctor that, they'd probably think you're an idiot because they're trying to sell you the cure, right? They're not trying to fix the causes of these diseases, they're trying to sell you the thing that will treat the symptoms. Anyway, that's, another, that's a topic for another video. If you're going vegan for health benefits, you need to be aware of the fact that it's not just as simple as not eating meat and dairy, it's about what you do eat as well, meaning you need to eat a wide range of vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, legumes, and healthy fats. By the way, I know that some of you are probably watching this thinking, why is he talking about going vegan? Well, I, I, like I said, I make a wide range of videos. So some of them will be about drones, some of them will be traveling videos, and some of them will be nutrition videos where I talk about veganism and health and your body. Just because that's a topic that interests me. You know, I enjoy sharing information about this stuff, especially because when I found out myself, it was sort of like a, an epiphany moment where I just had to share it with everyone I knew. How, how do you stay healthy on a vegan diet, get enough calories, and get the nutrition you need. Because there's all these myths about, you know, you need to have uh, a huge amount of protein in your body and you need to have like weight gaining shakes if you're a vegan just because otherwise you'll never be able to have enough calories. That's just not true. You know, you could get a lot of calories from a plant-based diet. It just depends on how much you eat and what foods you eat, right? Obviously, if you only eat lettuce, again, that will be better for you than just eating chips. But in terms of your caloric needs, so for the fuel your body needs to actually keep going and you know, even just maintain body weight, let alone put on muscle or fuel you for exercise, will not be fulfilled by lettuce alone. You need to have substantial vegan plant-based foods. And that usually comes in the form of carbohydrates, for example, grains, seeds, nuts, and beans, and legumes, things like lentils and chickpeas, right? That's where your substantial nutrition and calories will come from. Then obviously things like rice, pasta, potatoes, and oats. Now, the important thing with those food types is that you don't focus too heavily on one particular source of calories. You don't only have avocados, for example. You should have avocados because they're really good for you. But that shouldn't be where all of your calories come from. You need to have a balance, right? So you need to have, say, on any given day, you might have one meal with rice, one meal with potatoes, and then maybe another one is like you have a snack and you have some noodles and a, a stir fry sort of thing. I don't know but you should never have all of your calories from only one main type of food. It should be a balance, complete balance, especially with vegetables and lots of greens. The darker the green, the better it is for you. For example, spinach, kale, you know, dark broccoli, tender stem broccoli, these things are really, really good for you. It's obvious, right? Greens and vegetables, we know these things are good for us, but we've been conned into thinking that if we just have vegetables with our meal, then we can get away with eating things like meat and dairy and be healthy, that's just not true. And not only is it obviously not true, but it is actually provably not true. We can look at the death statistics of pretty much everyone in the world, and we can see that in, in areas where they eat more animal products, the deaths by 
these diseases, for example, heart disease, diabetes, go up. It's a direct correlation. The more animal products, the more you die, <laughs> in a nutshell, right? You can research it for yourself. I'd advise you, if you are interested, just to watch a documentary like What the Health, Cowspiracy, or listen to any of uh, Michael Grieber's talks or read his book or anything like that. I'll, I'll put some links in the description, but you can research this stuff for yourself independently. You know, you don't. it's not like you have to go through my links to read the research that is going to back up what I'm saying. This is hundreds, even thousands of studies that have all shown that a vegan plant-based diet is the healthiest diet for humans and has the highest ability, the biggest ability to prevent almost any disease that kills most people in the world today. Anyway, that's it for today guys, I'll see you tomorrow, done.